Welcome back to the channel guys. Since I just cleaned up my boat and got everything ready for a fishing trip, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you exactly how I have things set up on my bass track. So we're gonna start back here in the back where all the where all the uh, business is kept. So due to the lack of space in the battery compartment. My battery charger lives in one of my storage compartments. Uh, not exactly excited about that, but that's what I have to do. Um, because fitting it in this type of mess with three batteries and a gas tank is not that fun. I don't like standing on my head that much to uh, try to shove it in back here, way back there. That's where the original one was, um, and really no place to move the gas tank, so I just used the storage compartment. <laughs> Go ahead and shut this, but you know every every inch of space back here is pretty much used. Not really anything wasted there. Boom. Uh, I do have a. Uh, I forgot the name of this. I'll have to put this in the video, but it's essentially a sticky pad. You just stick to the your transom and you screw in your transducer. So it's been really good so far. I've had it on for a year and a half now, and it has not even budged. This other storage compartment, I like to keep snacks and water. Uh, in fact, I need to. I need to get this out and freeze these for tomorrow's trip. So, but I'm doing this video for you guys. And, uh, yeah, those snacks are still okay. I got my little uh, face mask there. I'm going to go throw this away real quick. Oh, where's the truck at? Oh, it's outside. And drop that. Alright, on this side, uh, underneath the passenger seat, let's look at that first. Ooh. Passenger seat. Um, I've got safety equipment. i got my horn, the horn there, uh, my fire extinguisher, extra prop. Uh, looks like I like to throw trash in here too. Whoops, let's not do that. Um, I have my paperwork also in plastic baggies under the seat. And that's about all I have under this seat. Um, you notice I do have a bungee cord on my steering wheel. This helps uh, to keep the steering in place and not let my outboard shake as much on the road. Um, I keep my scale and a buoy under here uh, in case I want to mark something that I see interesting. Um, this is where my Lowrance Elite 9 TI goes. Um, I do plan on doing a review video of that in sometime in the near future, but I don't exactly have that planned out yet. And uh, we'll go to the middle compartment real quick. I do have my throwable uh, kind of in between the two. And I just have my general day-to-day -day stuff. I have my chesty and then that's usually where my wallet and keys go when I'm when I'm uh, fishing so so in case I uh, fall in the water I don't exactly lose my uh, wallet and keys okay we got let's see if we get under this guy oh yeah oh I do have my uh, my boat lock there and I have some extra rope in case I need that as well. Um, I keep my net out as much as possible. Um, don't worry about this guy. This is where I uh, attach my, this is the pole that I put here or over there to attach my GoPro to so I can record these videos for you guys. Uh, that's just temporary storage when when I'm out on when I'm back at the lake I usually throw 
my pair of these pliers up front and then obviously my foot pedal goes up front and uh, my remote to my trolling motor goes in my pocket. Uh, let's worry about the deck and then we'll go back to the storage. Um, the, these boats only come really with one bungee cord. Um, and now this is the side I keep my rods on. The other side has something else on. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and I find if you have more than four rods out here at a time, it gets really uh, into your deck space. Um, so I keep four and then I have one that I'm using so I only really have three on the deck at a time while I'm fishing. I did replace the original motor guide that came with this guy uh, for those XI3. Um, it is better than the original motor guide but it still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Check out my review video, uh, the motor guide XI3. If you're interested in this motor or the XI5, up here on the front, let's see, make sure you guys are looking at that. Okay, up here on the front, I have a tilt trim uh, that came with the boat. I did install a power switch for my live scope so it doesn't suck down my battery all the time. It does take quite a bit of juice if you leave it on the entire day or if you leave it on all the time. Um, and then I have a plug for my trolling motor uh, that was already there. I just adapted it to my new trolling motor. I did drill a hole in the middle of this plate here uh, to allow all my cables to come out for my Garmin um, Echo Map Plus. Garmin Echo Map Plus there. Uh, it just made it real clean right here and really, really made me happy to do that. Um, and over here, underneath my other bunch of cord, um, I have my fishing specialties um, trans, transducer pole. And this one's specifically designed for the live scope. There she is in all her infinite glory. Um, she falls right into this. Right into this cup here. Show you guys real quick how this works. Boom, right there. She turns in there. The uh, transducer will turn. And I have a little handle that points in the same direction as my transducer. So, that's awesome. I do love the pole. I do love the mounting system. It does take up half of my deck space, which is not exactly exciting. I think when uh, when I upgrade boats, I may just go ahead and put this guy on my trolling motor. I haven't quite decided yet, but we will see in the future. Now back to the storage. Um, on this side, I have all my Plano boxes. I do have one extra uh, life jacket in here, and I do put my uh, head unit here. Um, I don't really like it sitting out in the wind, especially with the A size ram mounts. Um, I do have extra fishing line, and they're probably cut a few extra things in here that probably don't need to be in there, but I don't really have a whole lot of space for storage on the boat. Let's go back to the other side. We'll look at the other side storage, and then I'll hop in the boat and we'll look at the middle storage. This side. Um, I do have all my soft plastics. Um, I put them in these tubs here, and I have them labeled. This one's creatures and lizards. Um, I have swim baits and grubs, and then I have worms and sinkos. Um, and most of my baits fall into those type categories. If they don't, I pick the one that's the closest, and it's in there. Um, I have uh, my life jacket that I use. I do have some rope to a short rope to tie to docks. Uh, I have my warm wear, I have my frog togs. And underneath the frog togs are actual tools that I'll use. Well, I have on the boat. I haven't really had to use them too often. Um, this boat's been pretty reliable. So I had not had to use those tools too much. So I've actually downgraded some tools that'll probably come back to bite me. But we will find out. 
Let's uh, continue on up here real quick. And we'll look at the middle compartment and that'll be how I have my book set up. So I do have a little bit, hopefully you guys can see in here pretty good. Um, I, I have my anchor here. Uh, never used it, but it's there in case I need it. Um, I have my uh, anchor lights here. I do have a few extra rods. Um, this is where my live scope black box is mounted. And I use uh, some of my rod holders to thread all that through. And then I have a little day box here. Um, just that's kind of miscellaneous stuff in there and probably needs to be cleaned up some. Uh, this, this box usually ends up being the junkiest. Because uh, if I have something like a rod line, like this one, the line's the line is broke off of this one, and I just haven't went back and set it up, so it just got shoved in here and forgotten about. Man, I need to really clean those real handles there. Those are looking pretty gross. But that's how I have my bass tracker set up. Uh, there's not a whole lot of storage in this thing, so you have to make the most of what you do have. Um, but until next time, get out there and go get you a bass tracker if you don't have a boat. Just kidding. Get out there and go catch you some fish.